I'm Peter Proctor and I have been ma making compost for 60 years. Can you imagine that? 60 years making compost. One needs to know how do you make good compost. If you're going to be an organic farmer, or, or organic or biodynamic farmer, gardener or whatever, you have to know how to make good compost. And so basically, how do you start making a compost heap? Well, the first thing you have to think about what are the conditions that you need um, in making compost and you have to have two or two or three things. The main thing is the right amount of moisture and the right amount of air. So you choose materials that are going to keep the heap open so air can go through and so on. And also you have materials that will absorb moisture and hold water and so that helps the breakdown because if you get those conditions right you get warmth. That's another very important aspect. So you get air, water and warmth and then you end up with the solidity you end up with the compost. So you start with a tunnel and I always like to get a, a bale of straw, a bale of hay or whatever and you divide it off in little sections which are about oh, two to three inches thick and so you put one against the other, another one and another one and you have an air tunnel going through. The idea? Um, and that is a very essential aspect. If you, if you just put it straight on the ground, it will sink and boom, and nothing happens, no air going through. That air is very, very important. Um, it doesn't matter what sort of straw you use, um, it's usually fairly dry. And then of course, you have to then think about the moisture. How do you wet dry straw and um, how does it stay there? Well, if you're using straw, you have to actually soak it so what I normally have is a uh, sort of cut off 44 gallon drum, uh, which is full of water. You just dunk your, your, sum, your slice of hay into that water, leave it for, you count 10, and you pull it out and let it drain. And then you get the other one and do the same thing. And so you have then two pieces you put together and then you have a tunnel going through. Both are, have the right amount of moisture in them. So you make as many as you need for the length of the heap you want. And then you've got, then you want to build a bed around it. So this also is allowing the air to go through. So you don't just put all your new, all your compost material directly on the ground. You have to put it onto something. 